Kanye just I said love it. you and I want to give you a hug. I feel like you want to fight me right now, but I love you. I don't I don't fight with my fist, man. I've been through that. This is what I'm saying. So if I come over there, you're not going to fight me? No, I'm not going to hit Kanye West and TMZ. <laughs> TMZ has come under fire in the worst way possible for them, as several employees have stated that the work environment of the place is incredibly toxic. And now lawsuits are being filed against TMZ because of racist discrimination and other offenses. What have they been saying exactly, though? Could this be the end of TMZ as we know it? Allow us to break it down for you. And as always, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number five, the lawsuit. So what exactly is going on with TMZ? Nothing good, because a lawsuit has been filed against the publication and its parent company, and now because of it, we're hearing a lot of what's going on behind the scenes, and it's truly insane. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card. Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. BuzzFeed News spoke to one current and 23 former TMZ employees who came forward after an ex-colleague filed a lawsuit against the news site's parent companies, Warner Bros. Entertainment and EHM Productions, alleging gender discrimination and retaliation. A TMZ spokesperson called the claims a blatant attempt to use negative publicity and inaccurate claims to force a monetary settlement. That's a very interesting viewpoint on things, don't you think? But then again, that's what they're supposed to say when it comes to lawsuits like these. But the fact of the matter is that when it comes to today's day and age, people are tired of being treated like dirt for any reason. So to hear that someone is calling out all this stuff now after so long feels honestly kind of par for the course. Of course, that does raise the question of number four, so what was said? Obviously, you can't just follow a lawsuit and not spell out your allegations in some fashion. And when BuzzFeed talked to some of these employees of TMZ, the things they had to say were truly shocking. One current employee told BuzzFeed News that the culture of TMZ is that of unchecked abuse of power, starting with the men in charge. They also said that there are hardly any women in senior roles at TMZ and that the company hires people of color because they know that they need to, as opposed to appreciating and valuing them. If you're talking about the rights of black people, if you're talking about misogyny, if you're talking about equality amongst everyone, it's never reflected in the workplace, the employee said. We're reporting on all of that stuff, but we're not doing it ourselves. That is honestly and truly horrifying. If for no other reason than this is 2020 and we're supposed to be over this kind of thinking, equity in the workplace isn't just expected, it should be a requirement, especially in a place where news is supposed to be written. Yet that's not what's going on with TMZ and it only gets worse from here. The new group of ex-employees, most of whom asked to remain anonymous for fear of retribution, said that despite TMZ's reputation, the same kind of reckoning that has taken place at other media outlets has yet to hit the website's newsroom. How they treat women in a demeaning manner transcends to how they represent women on their site. The two go hand in hand, a former Warner Bros. employee said, which again is horrifying. It's 2020. Women being hired and then treated demeaning is something that shouldn't happen ever. And yet TMZ is apparently acting like it's decades ago when it was sadly a very standard practice, which wasn't right then and it isn't right now. When you go to work, the last thing you should have to fear is your bosses or other co-workers harassing you in a physical or verbal way. Yet apparently that happens every day at the company. What's that? We haven't mentioned verbal abuse. Oh, we're getting there. Number three, how not to talk to your employees. Before we get into the verbal abuse aspect, we need to talk about who runs the TMZ show. That would be Harvey Levin. He, along with another member who has since passed away, who made TMZ under Warner Bros. back in 2005, and it's hard to deny that he and others have been very good at expanding their brand from just celebrity news to things like sports, live reactions to things, and more. Sadly, when Levin apparently treats the news with reverence, he can't say the same for how he treats his employees. For more employees, said Levin and other executive producers screamed and cursed at them on a regular basis. Former employees also said Levin called people retarded and morons and made comments like, talking to you guys is like talking to a room full of special ed kids and my dog takes better direction than you. One former employee said they felt physically threatened by executives at TMZ and that they called them a effing retard, effing piece of, and effing dummy. That is just terrible and the fact that multiple people are saying this helps prove even more just how terrible things are at TMZ. You don't get an apology or anything like that, one former employee said. They just pretend it never happened until the next thing that pisses them off happens and then you get another angry outburst from them. That's not a good thing. Again, an employee shouldn't go to work in fear having to deal with crappy bosses verbally berating them for things. Now, if they had done a bad job or did something against company policy, a light scolding would be in order, but not to berate them, but to help make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again. What's more, one should never cuss out an employee and say things like, my dog takes better direction than you. Who does it help? What purpose does that truly serve? None, that's what. And imagine going into that environment every day and fearing ticking off people like Levin or one of his head executives and 
getting berated like that all the time, you'd eventually want to file a lawsuit against them too, which does beg the question. Number two, why didn't they do this before? This is a classic question in cases like this. Well, if it was so bad, why didn't they do this before? Well, there are many answers to that question. Key among them is fear. Because if you don't get enough support from other employees to back you up, it becomes a he said, she said argument, which never works out. Plus, there is the fear of blackballing, because it can be seen by some as a betrayal to rat out your boss, even if they're doing something like that. And thus, they can use their connections to try and make sure you don't work in the industry again as a punishment for what they did. Oh, and here's the thing. Some have filed complaints against the TMZ team in the past, but they didn't end well. One former employee, Ryan Nauman, filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission's EEOC in 2014 after Levin allegedly outed him as being gay to the rest of his colleagues, according to records obtained by BuzzFeed News. Another former Warner Bros. employee who worked closely with TMZ said she filed an HR complaint against executive producer allegedly gender discrimination against an executive producer alleging gender discrimination. The employee said she was frustrated when the company later told her that the investigation had found no merit to her allegations. Six other former employees also said they made HR complaints with Warner Bros. about their experience at TMZ. Others said they avoided making complaints because they feared retaliation. And there you see the problem here. While big companies like Warner Bros. has set off and for years that they want to do their best by their employees, they also know the damage that these kind of lawsuits can have and thus more times than not they brush them under the table. Many times because they know the person being accused and they don't want to be the ones punishing them. Or it would be a bad look for the company and thus some casualties are acceptable. It's a terrible practice and one that has gripped Warner Bros. and others over the last many years. Don't forget the former head of WB who was one of the people fired during the Me Too movement for various practices. And these practices apparently extend to TMZ because these complaints aren't all new. They've had many complaints filed against them for years. Number one, years of abuse. Warner Bros. and Levin did not immediately respond to multiple requests for comment, but a second current employee told BuzzFeed News the word retard has never and would never be used within TMZ by anybody in authority, and that it's not true that our hiring or firing practices are based on race and gender. TMZ goes to great lengths to ensure that it has diverse hiring practices and brings people in of all backgrounds, the employee said, which at first may seem to contradict what others are saying in their lawsuits, but never forget one person's voice only carries so much weight. Plus, what if this person is one of the people who honestly has been treated well at TMZ? They could be trying to help dispel the lawsuits and thus get something back in return. Happens much more often than you think. Not to mention, complaints against managers can be found for years. In August, former employee Bernie Zilio filed a complaint with the EEOC against TMZ Warner Bros. Entertainment and EHM producers alleging gender discrimination and retaliation in 2014. Another former employee, Taryn Hillen, also filed a lawsuit against Warner Bros., EHM Productions, TMZ Productions, and executive producer Evan Rosenblum alleging gender discrimination and wrongful termination. Hillen called TMZ a boys club that fosters a hostile work environment for women and said Rosenblum routinely yelled at and humiliated her, making comments like, don't be a girl. According to court documents, the lawsuit went into private arbitration and was later dropped after mediation. It is racist, it is incredibly misogynistic, and there's no change there, the current TMZ employee said. But that's what you're hoping for. That change comes from somewhere higher. Former employees said they're unhappy with the lack of change at TMZ, given all the formal complaints and lawsuits. It's one thing to work for a salacious brand, but one that actually represents its female employees. But this is not the case. This is a case of men in power and in control who like to represent women a certain way and who just don't have respect for female colleagues. A former Warner Bros. employee said, when is that going to change? When are they going to shift their mindset for how they treat women who work for their brand? A great example of the lack of standard is Veronica Bariga, who worked for TMZ for years across its various brands and asked one time in 2020 to go and be given a full-time role on TMZ on TV. They said she didn't have enough experience, and yet she noted to them that they just hired a male producer with less experience and one who was right out of school. She went on to say that women's opinions apparently don't matter in TMZ. What we had to say was never valued, and the men were always leading the conversation, even if it was about women's reproductive rights, Bariga told BuzzFeed News. Being in that room, I've never felt so small. I've never felt like my voice didn't matter. I just felt like if you wanted to have success as a woman at that company, you had to work three times as hard as your male colleagues. And that's wrong. It should never be like that. It should never have gone this far, and we are still only scratching the surface of all that has gone on at TMZ. So you have to wonder, will the brand be shut down after these lawsuits? Because it looks like this one is not going away. Plus, as Warner Bros.'s other major brand, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, has shown, these kinds of lawsuits and stories like to linger as more and more revelations come to light. And there you go, a look at the situation with TMZ and how things are going to be hopefully changing for the brand and soon. Which of these accusations do you feel is the worst? Can you believe that this lasts this long without major comeback? Do you hope that TMZ gets shut down? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.